Hey y'all, welcome to my all new highly requested YouTube channel and first video. Everyone has requested a video on how to make the rolling tray set. So the only thing you will need, you will need your tray from Dollar Tree. Of course, it was only a dollar. A jar, I got these from Hobby Lobby, lighter and ashtray that I just picked up from Michaels and a can of spray paint. Also, to design it, you'll need your vinyl, which was made with the 651 outdoor vinyl. So I have uh, my decor for the ashtray, lighter, and jar, and then I have my design for the rolling tray. So the first thing you will need to do is spray paint, you know, the color that you want, and let it dry, then we'll come back and do the design. So first we'll get started with the spray paint. So I just put my tray in the empty box to spray paint. Make sure you're in a well ventilated area. And I just spray paint it like this. And make sure all the silver is covered. let it dry air dry or you can put it in front of the fan and you just test it out by touching the, the edges here and there to make sure that it's dry so what i do usually is go ahead and sit it in front of a fan to speed up the process that way i can go ahead and start designing while my tray is in the process of drying i will go ahead and start on the jar edge tray and lighter so it'll be ready um so this is attached to the transfer tape that you will need when using the outdoor vinyl. I ordered it from U.S. Cutter. We do have a warehouse in Memphis that you can get it from. You can also order online and have it shipped to you. So just attaching the design to the jar. And I just put all my words and stars on one piece of tape so it would be easier for me to keep up with. And this is permanent vinyl, so it's not supposed to peel off, but you can also seal it to make sure that it doesn't, but it's not supposed to come off. And then I'll add this to the jar as well. my hand across it just to make sure that it lays flat and the kind of machine I use to do the words is a silhouette cameo that's the cutting machine I have so this is how the jar looks and the lighter And then with the ashtray, you can put the design on the top or the bottom, but I'm going to put it on the bottom. And I'll use some awesome to get the tape residue off. All right, so I, I removed the tape residue, so now I go ahead and add my star on the bottom of the ashtray. And 
and not everything in store will say ashtray you'll just have to improvise like this is a, a candle ash plate that i got from michael's got a little tape stuck to it that i got from michael's you can use like small bowls you can use real ashtrays you may be able to find some at the smoke shops but this one was just probably three dollars and then Walmart does have blank ashtrays like red and black for about a dollar and you can spray paint them any color that you want so once you complete a set it'll come out to look like this this is one that I made for someone and you can also use cheaper lighters, but a lot of people prefer the big because they last longer. And this is also a candle holder that can be used as an ashtray that I got from Hobby Lobby. They had them in different colors and sizes. So once you finish, it'll come out. This is also a glitter one that I made. This. And it was epoxy, so that's why it's so shiny. And these jars, these ashtrays also come from Hobby Lobby. They're actually candle holders as well. Okay, now that my tray is done drying, this is how it looks. Completely blue. To match the thing. And then I just take my design. Like this. And I do have my S, it just wouldn't fit at the end of the word. And then peel it off. product so we got our ashtray lighter and the jar and like I said the tray was a dollar lighter a dollar and some change the um, ashtray was about three dollars and then the jar was um, about $1.99 So you can make this for anyone with any design, make one for yourself or home, whatever you like. And not spend much money making it. Well, I wanna thank y'all for taking time out to watch this video. I hope you learned a lot. And I look forward to seeing y'all making y'all rolling trays. So make sure y'all tag me whenever y'all decide to make y'all own rolling tray so I can see and come see me again. I'll be having my next video up in no time So I just got to determine what kind of video I want to make. So come see me again. My name is Coco with Expressive Design. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it, y'all. So I can have more videos coming. I want to make sure that y'all are interested. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button. I will have my social media in the description box. And I also try to put all the material that I use in the description box. Just in case you forget, you'll just have to go back and look.